Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dogface, and I really don't like it down here in this basement. Oh boy. I'm gonna start this episode off by giving a shout out to Fay Otter, who says, A taken bear would have been an amazing boss fight. I mean, the chances to win if you weren't the protagonist would have been almost zero, but it would have still been cool. One rule of anything. The bigger they are, the more evil they are. Bears, corporations, hippos, volcanoes, moose, all of the large cats, and so on, can and will kill you. Except dogs. It's the exact opposite for them. A large dog will just go, Oh, I guess I'm being picked up now when you pick them up. And chihuahuas are willing to fight God and die trying in order to eat a few crumbs you drop on the ground. <laughs> I like that. That film reel has a swirl on it. Oh no no no! My my mistake. It was just, it's a circle. I just was only seeing one half of it thanks to the uh, the, the blinding light from this thing. Oh, this reminds me the o the Yurt and Yur poster. I guess that's the original poster for Nightless Night. A thought occurred to me. I'm not sure which thing is weirder. That Alan has uh, Yurt and Yur on his radio, even though he's never actually heard the the words, just the instrumental version in the uh, on the radio, or the fact that not this. What the hell? There we go. Or the fact that uh. The Herald of Darkness song, which I'm pretty sure doesn't actually exist, is on Saga's radio. You know, the... the, the team-up between Alan, Mr. Door, who does not exist, and, uh... and the old gods of Asgard in their youth. Yet another page. This is almost alarming, finding so many this quickly. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Cynthia corrupted. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer. A fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close, to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out of bubbles. I don't love that. That means she was just quoting Alan, and it's almost and it's just weird that it sounded like it made sense in context. This will put a smile back in your face, my dear. But who the fuck is this man? Scratch? I guess that makes more sense. Some cleaning supplies and stuff in here. They actually took the time to model out the back of a washing machine, and I appreciate that. You could have made that a flat sheet of metal and no one would have cared, but no, you put all the little divots and indentations and uh, stickers and such. Hello. Code is to... Okay, 
fuck that sound. Code is 273. Rose, if you see this, please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me. VB. Take a first aid course. Someone's life might depend on it. Staying alive is the coolest fashion statement. Wear a life jacket. What to do during a natural disaster? I guess it's like a seminar or something at the police station? Now I feel like I'm being watched. I hate this. Alright, Scratch, you ugly son of a bitch. Can't even show up to do your own dirty work, huh? It's gotta be... No, 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 let's show... Let's have Cynthia take care of this. Enemy of my enemy, right? Oh, this is that door I couldn't open earlier. Perfect, a way back if I fall. Two, seven, three. Aha! Fuse. Surprised it didn't, like, disappear or something. Instead of crawling back through that fucking tunnel, let's just go take the door. Stupid box. Oh, in fact, the... Oh, this is the other end, the one that doesn't open, yeah. No. Oh, yes, the battery pack I couldn't pick up. How annoying. Oh, man, the save room is also the room with uh, that sound coming out of it. Oh, there was a thing I wanted to mention. So I'm going to pause that real, real quick. And, uh... Yes. Shut it to Justin Jones, who said, Now if only Saga said something like, You've got to be fucking kidding, when she first spots the many-armed John Carpenter-looking dude. Also funny how you said I redeemed myself, me being a Dark Angels player in Warhammer 40k. I understand that reference, but explaining it would take quite a bit of time, so I'm just going to leave that at that. <laughs> nice one. And Derek Floyd replies to that, saying, The multi-armed Taken thing appeared to be mirrored, like it was standing waist-deep in water. The effect went away after Saga killed it, leaving an otherwise normal body behind. And I wanted to mention a det to clarify a detail. I mentioned that when it was... It, it, it disappeared by having both halves of its body contract into the middle, like it was a, a person and his reflection dipping into the water. And then I said I could see ripples moving around through the air. It wasn't like the Predator. I mean, like... The visual effect was like if the entire hallway had been flooded with waist-deep water, and I was seeing the ripples of something moving just beneath the surface. Except there was no water, so it was just ripples floating about three feet off the ground. It was, uh, really creepy. Oh, God. Fuse. High-voltage fuse used in fuse boxes. Where is that battery pack? I want to... hmm... Maybe it'll let me pick it up this time. Nope, I just can't... Ho! Oh! The box opened up, and there's nothing in it. Hey, fuck this. There. Power's back on. Be careful holding your flashlight right against the end of the shotgun like that. If you push it too far forward, one of the pellets could blow through the, the lens, and then you'd be fucked. I have a lot of crossbow bolts. I mean to move only one of them. Oh, 
Okay. I mean, the lights came on in the safe haven room, but I can't see fucking anything. It's like there's no other lights down here. All the washing machines have come on. I don't think it's even sanitary to do, uh... Oh, I see. Is this something they watch on movie night? Casey! Oh, Casey. What the hell is going on? Your tenure. And there's subtitles in Finnish. The Dark Place? It's Casey and Alan's writing room. I'm gonna guess those last two words meant coming soon, because that looked like a trailer. Uh, it was all silent, and it was Casey confronting Alan in his, or Scratch, I guess, in the writer's room. And then he was suddenly being swarmed by Cult of the Tree members who kind of looked like they were eating him in the manner of zombies. I thought I was gonna have to pick up one of these cans and put it over there. Like that one in particular. Caught my eye on the way in here. I can't get through this. Oh, I can get there, I think. I just have to go around from this side? No, don't put that- oh. Accidentally, uh, recharged the flashlight before it needed it. This is the optional path. Why are you showing up here? Or I can hear you, anyway. Oh, no, this isn't the optional path. This is actually the way back. I thought that... Uh, where the fuck does that go? Shit. Oh, she was right there. Oh. No, I can't, then. How strange. What about those other doors, though? Oh, it's this! It's the little tunnel. Okay, yeah. Because that door just flat out don't work. So this is a dead end. All right, so I had confirmed that then. Fair enough. There's the open crate. I don't suppose it'll let me take the batteries now. Nope. That's very annoying. to get back up. Rose's key fob. Key fob for any electronically locked door in the Valhalla nursing home given by Rose. Nothing. Ooh. Health and rifle ammo. It's exactly what I want in my first aid kit. You don't actually zoom in anymore with the rifle. There. Uh, I guess it doesn't, you know, it clearly doesn't have a scope. I was just curious. Hunter safety courses. Enroll now in hunter safety courses. Surely there should be hunting safety courses. 
Teamwork makes the dream work. Don't touch. Oh. Not for sure I'd be able to open that. Oh, God. I really don't want to go around there because I feel like that guy is going to come back to life and grab my leg or something. And I'm going to have to f kill him. Ah. Uh. Physics. It was just physics. That made the door close right in front of me. I was bumping into it. Yes. You can tell because I didn't get jump scared or anything. And no monsters spawned behind me. Or in front of me. This whole fence isn't marked on the map, huh? Weird. I figured at some point there would be a boss fight against Taken, Yako, and Elmo, and I would get the bolt cutters from them, like the commercial. I mean, I really liked them, but I kind of figured they were toast, and I learned they were the leaders of the cult. i surprised these benches don't have dedicated to the memory of placards on them. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a really... Oh, I see! It's a fallen tree with a bunch of roots sticking out this side. I wonder why they just left it here. It's clearly been cut down. Enough of this. Let's head back in. Interesting. It really does change the sound. What do we got here? The Black Rider cometh, all gods of Asgard. Go gallop the postal workers with the witching hour by the Grimsons. The Paradise Tango by Bertha. The Final Call by Kerrigan. Uh, I'm looking at the right side, by the way. The Children of the Elder God. Follow Me Underground, also by Old Gods of Asgard. In the Valley of My Shadow, Old Gods of Asgard. Pulling Teeth, Mysterious, with an I instead of a Y. Spiraling Carousel, Cat with a K and Cat with a C. Better the Here Than There by Bertha. Tough Luck by Kerrigan, and on the left... The Coconut Song, and the thing is faded out, but I'm pretty sure that's a real one, so, uh... Oh, maybe if they said the Coconut Song and mentioned the guy's name, they would have to pay the rights, you know? Like, and maybe if they just say the Coconut Song, it doesn't count. Take Control, Old Gods of Asgard. Alone at My Own Wake, Old Gods of Asgard. That's clever. The Unraveling of Something Something, Old Gods of Asgard. It's really faded on that side. Something by the... Groovy Growers? Z stands for Zag. Groovy Grovers. Uh, the Juggle by Mysterious. It is slightly easier to read without the flashlight. Come On Now by Edith. Monsters Don't Have Nightmares. The Grimsons. Kitchen something by the cooks. And the long evening, Mary and Mead. But, uh, sadly, I can't just put a song on because it's asking me to use an item. So I guess I desperately need that record. Would have been nice to listen to Take Control again. It's very funny to me that, uh, there's a separate Spotify page. <laughs> for uh, Old Gods of Asgard than uh, Poets of the Fall. I'm sorry this happened to you, Cynthia. You were a good person. A little high-strung, but you didn't deserve this. Oh, the voice is coming from inside the wellness center. Fantastic. The nightmare 
No, she's just here. She's just here. Somewhere. I don't like this mixture of, uh, phrases. It's interesting that we can't actually see any water on the windows, but the reflection of the windows on the walls has water clearly streaming down it. I'm beginning to wonder if the invisible rain is a bug. Wouldn't be the first one I'd found. Might be interesting to look at this game like... You know, once they get all the patches and presumable DLC out. Let's get up to Gale's room. Probably get jump scared along the way. Fuck that. Rifle. I'm now in a very real way armed for bear. Oh, right, Donna was the exercise woman. I hate whatever that noise is. I hate this. Like, a lot. Hey, Ati! Oh, I don't suppose you can hear that, huh? No, he's just sitting there. It's coming from her room, isn't it? Yeah, it's coming from her room. Alright, with that in mind... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2, when we push forward and investigate over there, even though we kind of don't want to. No kidding. Oh, God. Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. And stay in the light. <laughs>